Hi, this is Lee Garrett and welcome to another weekly tip video. Today I'm going to look at a music application and it's unique in that, to the best of my knowledge, it's the first app of its kind. It's a read it later service, but for music. So I guess you could call it a listen to it later service. Now Music Box is the brainchild of Marcos Tanaka and I've covered a few of his apps on Screencasts Online already, most notably Music Harbor and Play. If you want to capture music as you go and place it in a separate app that allows you to organize and structure to your liking, this is the app for you. So let's take a look. OK, here is Music Box on the App Store. Now, I've purchased it already. It's a one off purchase and it cost me £2.49 or three US dollars. It is a universal app, meaning one purchase will unlock on iOS, iPadOS and macOS as well. Now, there are no in-app purchases either, which is great to see. And I'll tap open to open it for the first time on this device. And those of you who watched the video that I covered on the Play app, which is video 1150, you'll notice it's pretty much the same layout. And that application is a watch it later service for YouTube videos. We have three panes in the app. So on the left hand side are the four default collections that will house your albums and your tracks. There's a settings cog and a handy help button that will give you guidance on how to add music and make use of the features within the app. Of course, I'm going to be covering that now though. Then to the right of this, we will see the albums or the songs contained in the collections. And then finally, in the far right hand pane, that's going to show you the album or song details. But of course, this is the first time the app has been opened. We need to get some music in here to show this. And there are many ways to do this. Now the first, and by far the easiest way in my opinion, is to share from another application. So I'll come out of Music Box. And I'm going to open Apple Music first, but we can add music directly from Spotify as well. And I'll show you that shortly. But I'll just close this. Come over here to search. And I'll tap here to start typing an artist name in here. And take a look at this latest album here. Now I've got the album details on show. I'm going to come up to these ellipses and select share album. Now this of course opens the share extension sheet and add to music boxes there at the bottom. So I'll tap this and we have a confirmation window appearing saying that the album has indeed been added. Now it hasn't added any kind of copy of the album. It's not downloaded anything into some kind of music box database. It's merely captured an entry to this Apple Music link. And we can also see here the metadata that has been captured and added as well. At the bottom here we can add a tag. And this will help take organizing your music to another level because using tags offers another layer for organizing your music and creating smart searches, which we're going to cover later. I'll tap new to add a new tag. And I do love John C's music when I'm working because it's very chilled. So I'll tag this as chill out. And we can change the color as well of the tag of how it appears. So I think I'll keep it a blue. And I'll tap save. And then done. Let's see how that looks now within the app. I'm going to come out of here and tap back across on the Music Box app. And we can see the album is added. It's populated two of the built in collections over here on the left. So the new collection and the all one. And we can see that the tag has been created as well. And if I tap on the album, then we're taken across to the far right pane where we have all of the album information and metadata. And if I scroll down, We've also got some links to actions that we can carry out and we'll cover those a little bit later. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple related tutorials from Screencasts Online. Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple related video tutorials. All of our members get access to brand new up to date tutorials each week, as well as unlimited access to our entire video archive full of Mac and iOS related tutorials. You can stream and download all of our videos on your Mac, iPad and iPhone and even your Apple TV using the members only Screencasts Online Apple TV app. Membership also includes a complimentary subscription to the Digital Screencasts Online monthly magazine, published each month and packed with videos, articles, reviews as well as hints and tips covering all aspects of the Mac, iPad, iPhone and all of the other fantastic Apple products. So. If you're ready to start getting the most out of your Apple devices, visit ScreencastsOnline.com today and become a Screencasts Online member.